guys and welcome to Angler for you today. Join me in the front room where I'm getting ready to, and prepared for my next match on the Winter League uh, round two um, and I'm drawing on the big pond uh, on peg 13 so fingers crossed for a few cap as it has been mild this week but what we're here to look at is the new map seal system carry all C1000. Now obviously you've seen that I've had the Matrix stuff for a year now um, really enjoyed having it. Time for a move on. I, you know, I'm like, I keep it fresh for the channel, I keep moving through gear. Now, I'd had a look through at the Guru stuff, Kel's got it, and I've seen it in the shop a few times, and I do really like the look of, of it. I think it looks really smart gear. And then, obviously, I've been waiting quite a bit for the new map Z36 to come out, which I've obviously got. And Matt says to me, have you seen the seal system uh, from from map? And I, I, I'd, I'd only seen it on, on the odd post that they'd put on. Um, so I thought I'd go and have a look at it. So we're going to tackle and have a look. And yeah, it, it, it's mega. I love it. Um, obviously, it's very similar to the Guru in regards to that like, carbon fibre um, seal effect on there. Um, but obviously, you know me, tackle town. It's, um, it's got the map, the blue. Um, so yeah, that, that's what I went with. Um, I've also got the roller bag, which we'll uh, we'll do in another video. But this seal system is pretty unique, to be honest. And and again, I've I've tried to adapt my my things and and the things I take. We take a bloody lot of stuff nowadays, and I don't always need it. So I've tried to condense, and this one is. Is, it looks like it's going to be the right thing. Um, so I got the bait bag uh, from Matrix before, which is great. All the the Matrix gear I've ever I've had is brilliant. I've kept all the attachments, but all the gear has been fab. What I wanted is something a little bit bigger bait bag wise than what I had before. I was tight, especially in summer with space, trying to get stuff in. Now I've made a con just sort of effort to, to really cut down on what I carry um, because I do carry too much stuff. So let's have a little look around this bag first. Um, it's got some surprises inside if you've never seen it before it's pretty mint what it comes with but it's also pretty mint how, how expensive it is. So they're about 150 quid. Now I've seen them for 138 um, fluctuating you may pick them up on uh, on marketplace for 100 quid or eBay at second hand for around that kind of money and it's not just this bag if it were just the bag then obviously that, that that's quite a lot of money it's what it comes with as a system and that's where the seal system stuff comes into place so let's start on the bag so you can see it is quite a big old boy um, it's you know it is sizable I, I, I don't I got any measurements off the top of my head but I will put them in the link and the description but on the outset the thing that I would firstly is if it's got too much weight in it is it gonna be is it gonna rip this kind of seal stuff and the first thing I can say is how amazingly strong the stitching is on the corners and these are the kind of places and on the bottom where it's it's got a really strong finish and it's got the mud feet as well and, and the centre foot and the centre base bit so it's not going to be touching the floor and that's where I, that's, I was worried a little bit that I don't throw stuff around but you do worry if you've got weight in it it's going to do it but it's got a solid bottom and obviously it's got these little mud feet but it's got reinforced stitching now it's got the big dual, dual zip on it as well all that's reinforced and obviously it's waterproof, which again is a really good thing. There's no worse than your gear getting soaked. You know, you're funny about with it, end of your shift. It's just, it's no good. So, handles wise again, it's all fixed on there with double stitching. It's got two attachments on the front, two on the back, and one on either end for the big strap. So it's got a big strap there, as you can see, which slides up and down. Got a lovely map embossed on it and a nice bit of uh, comfy padding and then they've got the dual handle which is more like um, a, a, a belt kind of feel to it really durable um, and again that's the velcro together to give you the double handle 
But where it starts to get impressive is when you start to open it up. So, this is where it starts to get really impressive. So, inside is a plethora of additional storage. So this is where it's going to be a little bit different for me. I'm going to have to think about what I have in what place and how that looks. So first then, I'm just going to lift these two down to the side. We'll go into those because I haven't even put anything in it. So I'm transferring my gear in it today. So I thought I'd better film it first. So you can see it is a massive thing. I hope the camera does it injustice. Like that's from my armpit, and I'm short, but that's from my armpit to my fingertips. So it's definitely at least 60 centimetres, and depth wise, it's at least 30 centimetres. Uh, I've been looking at it. So you can see the solid base, and everything is just double, triple stri stitched, and it's folded over in, say, in, in the same way inside as well, which gives me a little bit of um, satisfaction that it's, it's not going to. It's not going to rip on me. Let's lift that. Let's lift that, bo that, that bag down. Now you wouldn't think that they'd do extensive testing on that. Anyway, so these individual seal systems, they just look sexy, don't they? I mean, let's be honest, they, they do look pretty damn sexy. So it's like a miniature version of the main box. Not with the same straps, it's got two carry handles, one either side, really easy to, to lift in and out. And you can sort of multi-purpose these for what you want so inside it's like a russian doll it's <laughs> you keep you keep getting out the different size tubs now these are all aimed for bait of course not but i'm just going to get the other one up as well because they're different they can fit feeders in, uplinks, attachments, tire, towels, all sorts of stuff. And then we've got the individual ones as well. So we'll get these ones out. So if you look in there, you're getting some good old gear like. I know it's it's a lot of money. It's 140 quid, 150 quid. But hear me out. Look at that, if you're I can't even getting yourself in there, if you're getting all that, that's a lot of stuff. If you buy that individually, if you buy this bag individually, you're looking at 50, 60 quid. Now a 40, uh, one of those square ones, which I've got as well, um, that you put on your side tray, they're 50 quid, they're 40 quid, sorry. So there you've got 100 quid there straight away. One of them is gonna be, a, 50 quid more than likely or around that so that's 200 quid another 100 quid so that's 200 quid and then if you bought all these individually they're going to range from 15 18 quid up to 20 odd quid there's probably 400 quids if you bought it individually worth of stuff here so i mean really that's that's bloody good that's bloody good value in my eyes that i mean so let's have a little look at some of the different we'll put on there, so let's say so each, each thing's named individually. So these are the C3000s, these are the C2000, I'm going to assume. That one is the C, oh, that's a C4000, there's going to be a C2000, yeah, no, C5000. So that butts back by the higher the number, the smaller the item. So you've got your big ones, your one, that's your two, that's your three, that's your four, and that's your five. So if you are looking for them individually, it's the seal systems and then the C whatever thousand you want. So this one, I mean, you could put loads of different ground bait bags, things that are open, lo loads of feeders. You know, I mean, there's more storage here than I'm probably ever going to need. Um, but it's just, it just really satisfies my organizational side i'll be honest just the fact that all this can be organized is awesome i just love it i just love stuff like that and it, it might be a bit sad to a few people who are not bothered about throwing it into a bag i've always been like throw it into a bag and until i saw this and then i'm like yeah you know that makes sense um and 
you know it looks good as well <laughs> and it's all waterproof so I think that that's these are big selling points for me um, I don't know what, how I'll get on with it I'll be honest it's a different type of bag to what I've ever used will I like it don't know I will just have to find out but the good thing is if I don't want to take it all or what I'd say I've got the my summer pellets in here and I've got some stuff that you know for a pace session or whatever I could just leave that at home if I wanted to if I just wanted to take that instead of the whole thing I could just take that out um, if I'm going on a short session um, and I just wanted a couple of ground baits I could just grab that and it'll have a couple of bags of ground bait in it that that's the way that I sort of envisage my use now you know I buy and sell this the gear and you know have things for a certain amount of time and I try to get things that are current and uh, that are out there if you're looking to redo your luggage and you redo your storage systems and you you, you want to relook at stuff and you know Christmas is looming this is um this is definitely one that you should put on your list I think you'll have a if you certainly like organization you'll have a lot of fun putting all this together and putting all the stuff into your individual packets and bags and stuff that you want on Christmas Day definitely enjoy doing that um, but equally, you know, if you're just wanting something that you can take out in different stages and different stuff, then, you know, if you just want to use the main bag as the main bag and these as individual things, you know, you, you could do it that way. So, hopefully this has helped you. I'll put on the roller bag as well. I've got that one uh, to do. I've not got any rollers just yet um, that go in it. I need to pick those up. Um, but uh, that will be soon um, and they they you know they fit a couple of rollers in um, but again it's the same seal system as what this is sorry I keep ruining my eyes it's been a long week so if you want to join us on the Facebook uh, Angler for You and uh, there's loads of members on there um, and anybody willing to help if you want to jump on members matches there's all sorts of stuff going on uh, on there all the time uh, if you want to go on the angling for you Instagram just to see photos of what we're doing, it's angling underscore for you uh, Instagram. If you want to jump on the playlist and see any other unboxing reviews or features or uh, match videos or even challenges and things like that, then have a look on those playlists um, on angling for you YouTube. If you'd like, share, and subscribe, that'd be fantastic. And until the next one, guys, thank you very much for watching. Talentless.